Wednesday, 11 8, to all of my beautiful divine feminine and masculines out there. And welcome back to another Star Seed reading. Oh, wait, I meant to say, I see all of my funny And if y'all would like to um, donate to me on my channel, follow me on Instagram, check the description box down below. Everything you need to know is there. You guys, so I'm like catching up with the energy that's been around us, okay? So, yeah. This retrograde got a lot of things like mixed up here. Somebody is like confused with their emotions, okay? Somebody needs to heal their emotions. You may need to heal your emotions, okay? Journal, okay? You may need to talk to someone as well, maybe about your family issues. Maybe you feel like you need to talk with your mom. If you guys have like a job interview or something or you're looking for like a job okay yeah and you're also trying to find your life purpose in the midst of it okay yeah i feel like things is balancing out for you there could be someone that is helping you as well find a job or you're gonna find you like um a soulmate okay there could be um you could be manifesting a new soulmate you could use this full moon energy I feel like you use this full moon energy to unlock a few things in your life. Yeah. I feel like you guys are meant to have a business partnership with someone who you love. Like, you and your love are supposed to build a business together. Yeah, and it's supposed to be kept within the family. All right? That's the legacy, that royal blood I'm talking about. I feel like you guys are speaking that out into existence. Every time I talk about it in the read, you guys, just know I'm speaking it out into existence for you. I mean, you guys could be with a Sag or you're a Sag, okay? You guys are working really hard. I mean, I could be Capricorn. There was a Capricorn tapping into a cult, dark occult with the eighth house, okay? And doing a lot of spell work on your legacy and your partnership and your creativity. All right, or you could be a Capricorn and someone did that to you. All right, I feel like everyone, all your karmics are receiving a spiritual lesson. They're learning a valuable lesson, especially they tapped into the spiritual world, okay, underworlds, whatever, even utilizing the angels the wrong way, they are receiving a karmic um, lesson. Oh, learning a lesson. Neptune here. Okay, your fantasies, yearning, and longings, and potential for illusion. I feel like you're, fan like you're fantasizing someone, like you're manifesting someone. Someone could be manifesting you. I feel like you may already know this here. All right, with this Leo, Leo give me passion and drive here. Yeah, passionate. Someone is really passionate about you here, okay? Pluto, maybe because how you're able to transform and bounce back, all right? I feel like somebody is definitely, like, attracted to your um your passions, and that's what makes them so passionate about you, passionate about your ego. I'm here, like, you may have a strong ego, you know, you, you stand in your square, like we talk about, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with the ego. It's about having it balanced. You, you don't want to have a 3D low vibrational ego. You want your ego to be high vibrational. To where you know how to defend yourself, set boundaries, okay, be secure, safe, and confident, all right, grounded at all times, learning how to deal with certain behaviors with people, learn how to deal with narcissists and shit. Typically, narcissists help us grow, all right, into healing our ego. So I feel like someone is, like, attracted to how you are on a 3D level and in the 5D, okay? Yeah, look, seventh house, this area of your life. It's about long-term significant partners, romantic, business, or family. I did say you and someone are, like, you're meant to <clears throat> have some type of family legacy with, you know, or family business or something. And then we have Aquarius. So I feel like this age of Aquarius, you're building that up. This age of Aquarius, you're going to be meeting new soulmates, new tribe members. All right? Maybe meeting up with even new family members. This energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. Yeah, you guys are working on technology, I'm getting. Some of you guys um, are going to be meeting up with new ancestors as well. Some of you guys could be an Aquarius or a Pisces or a Libra. Or have that in your chart, okay? Or an Aries. Okay, I'm hearing an Aries could be really mad because they got caught up in an illusion, okay? You could be an Aries and you got, you're got you mad because you got caught up in somebody else's illusion and you're just focusing on your golden age, your age of Aquarius, your partnership, you know, your friendships i'm hearing this could be between you and a friend either way it goes i feel like you're just focusing on yourself the energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous 
okay? Crusading, impulsive, and action is likely. Oh, impulsive action is likely, okay? I feel like um, there was some impulsive energy around you that you had to remove out of your life. They were just full of confusion here. They pretended that they was all love and light here, but they talk shit here, and I feel like, you know, you're, you're expanding and they're not. It's like you're seeing that somebody is just karmic, all right? You're seeing that somebody around you is just karmic. Somebody who you grew up around is just karmic, okay? Look, Libra came out. So y'all could have, like, double air in your placement, or you could be a double air, all right? This energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. You're seeking balance in your relationship. This age of Aquarius, all right, is helping you, like, balance out. Those karmic relationships in the sense of removing them. We talked about that. That's real. Okay, karmics are being removed out of your um, Akashic record. All right, if they don't serve you any purpose, they got to go. They have to go. It's like somebody has a fake smile. Like, somebody is really, like, going through troubles, but it's from their own shit. I feel like you guys was fake smiling. You know, you go through a lot. And it's like people just don't understand what you go through because they lack empathy and compassion. But they expect you to be, you know, loving like to them all the time. Like we all go through stuff and we have to be compassionate to everyone, especially if you expect that in return. It has to be given. Right. But I feel like this is also ruled by Uranus, Aquarius. Uranus is chaotic energy. Okay. I feel like also Uranus represents towers. Okay. Because Uranus is rebellious. They do what they want. Okay, and you know, what I'm getting is maybe you or someone around you, they're the type where it's like, they will cause chaotic energy to get what they want. But either way it goes, I feel like this age of Aquarius is causing towers in your karmic's life where they have to just go. Alright, it's either they get themselves balanced or they just leave. Or they leave your life completely and they just go down their own separate path, their own way. Because it's like, you have no ties with them anymore, okay? Those karmic ties and bonds are being cut. Remove. Alright, six house. Yeah, you guys are focusing on your work, your health, getting yourself back healthy again, even spiritually. And I feel like with this duty area of your life, it's like, what duty do you have? Like, work? Is it a job? I feel like you're, like, really focusing on a job and your duties here. Alright, even with whatever partnership you have, this is romantic. A lover could be really focusing on, like, getting some type of romantic partnership that y'all have back like they're trying to use this retrograde energy to bring you back at least that's what they were trying to do okay i don't know but yeah look more romance where you have fun romance and creative things you are proud of some of y'all need to check your fifth and fourth house okay that may resonate with you in your ninth house your eleventh house okay in your mars but um Somebody's manifesting you. The fifth house will represent manifestation. That is ruled by Leo. All right? So I feel like you're, somebody is manifesting you. You are manifesting a lot, too. A lot of your manifestations are just, are like, you already planted the seeds. You, you know, I'm getting crop and flow. Okay? You already did all that that you need to in your garden. Now it's like it's here. All right? It's here. It's like now you're ready to embrace it. <laughs> all right? You guys definitely activated a portal of manifestations in this here. We've been talking about this. It's facts. Yes. Gemini, some of y'all could be Gemini. Some of you guys are definitely going to an interview. All right, an interview that you could have manifested here. The energy is communicative, mis mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Informative. I always say that wrong. <laughs> Stimulating exchange is, is possible. Stimulating exchange is possible. Okay. So y'all could be having, like, deep conversations with that stimulating exchange. And with this crystal in the middle, it's like, you're, like, gaining enlightenment or something, or something is, like, you're gaining huge clarity, and it's, like, activating something in your mind. Okay, is your crown activated? Or are you, like, activating your crown again? All right, 12th house. Second house. Some of you guys, I'm... Oh, my God, you guys are definitely tapped into the spiritual world. You guys can definitely um, manifest well with your mind. All right, you guys can create illusions in your mind, and it can, you can, it's like, however you have power of your mind and that control, that illusion that you create, like, oh, you driving and 
your your first Mercedes Benz. I feel like you are able to attract that. It's like you making a wish. I hope I'm making sense to you guys, but that's what I'm picking up. All right, it's like you guys manifested richness and a lot of money, and it's coming, and it's through illusion. Okay, you know how we make shit tangible with magic is through illusion. It's all illusion, and you have to be strong. All right, like a strong wizard or magician to like have your illusions last. All right, and be really strong and tangible where nothing can break it. Okay, now we're not talking about spiritual warfare. That's different. That's different. I'm talking about like positive and honest light manifestation. That shit is coming in for you, and a job interview could be one of them. All right, or I don't know why I'm getting a job interview. If you guys are like looking for a job, you got it. And or you could be focusing on your business as well and your life purpose. But... Your assets, finances, and things that you value. Mm -hmm. I, I heard things that you want, okay? Before I even said value, I heard things that you want. You're getting what you want because you're speaking it out into existence. All right, I'm definitely getting Mercury with that Gemini energy. We have all air placements, okay? So, yeah, definitely could be air signs, okay? Or you guys are like master manifestors. Air represents communication, writing things down and communicating. All right, you just writing that shit down. It's like it's, that energy is being sent to the cosmos. That's why I like to burn my manifestations because it's like, my paper is turning into smoke, okay, and that smoke is the air energy, okay, it's transmuting into air, and I ask the spirit of the wind to send it to universe, okay, so just imagine that, like, you guys are writing petitions and maybe burning them, putting on a candle, it's working, for you to be rich, have a lot of money, it's working, y'all could be utilizing leg ball, okay, he opened the road for you, like, yeah, he's like, here you go, you did the right thing with your, your offering, this, the so of health, it says, this is the area of your life that is overwhelming you yield to a greater cause of power cause or power okay so the 12th house is all about the, the subconscious mind and it's ruled by um pisces i feel like i need to read a little bit more about the 12th house so i can really Some of y'all could be smoking weed and having trips. Like, you be tapped into the astral world with your weed. <laughs> the weed have you tap into the astral realm for real. Yes. So, y'all be doing it. The 12th archangels. The 12th archangels could be protecting you at this time. Okay. All right, yeah, the 12th house is the house of the unconscious, the last and most liminal of the zodiac houses. The 12th house relates to karma. Ooh, yes, your past lives. I forgot about that. That's why I needed to look it up to remember. Bitch is brainwashing me and shit. Bitch, I still remember. I just had to look it up. Yes, your past life. First of all, y'all got past life riches coming in. Whatever job you bought to have, you had it in a past life. Whatever it is that you're manifesting, I feel like you obtained that in the past life or all that you wanted you obtained that in the past life so that's definitely a talent that you have my mom just texted me some texted me something <sighs> but um okay so it relates to karma invisible enemies yeah you guys are also realizing that you had some hidden enemies after your your riches with the second house that is being revealed to you with that gemini i'm getting people are communicating with each other like shit that was hidden with that neptune all right because this, this it says potential for illusion. So that's shit that was hidden through illusion. And people are telling you what was going on. Like this person was attacking your second house. And, and could have been your 12th house. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. I'm texting my mom. Like I said. Yeah, so any karmic that was like trying to steal out of your second house. Okay, hell, your destiny. They're going to be suffer suffering. I'm getting you remember these people. All right, your soul remembers them from a past life. That's why they in your, your 12th house. Damn, I got to check out my 12th house again. It's in Sag. And I remember when I checked that out, it said you have hidden enemies from your past life following you that may want to kill you, okay, because they are based behind, you know, my belief and their belief is different. And I didn't understand it. I thought it was spiritual. It was spiritual. They went in my destiny. They tapped into spirit. But I thought mainly because of, like, you know, Ra's God, you know, star seeds. No, it was because them bitches thought that I was a clone and that they 
Basically, them bitches thought that they have um that I had their destiny. They thought that I had their destiny, and it was the other way around. She was trying to take mine. All of them. So. Yeah. So I feel like this is this is what was going on. People was also trying to steal your spiritual gifts as well. Okay, your spiritual talents. The second house is also your talents. You have a lot of spiritual talents here. All right. And it could even been a Gemini trying to steal all this from you. You guys are going through a spiritual evolution. It says psychological fears, forced and chosen isolations, and subterranean impulses also make themselves at home here. So your karmics, they have issues. Psychological fears, okay? They have fucking fears, and, and de those fears are demons. They have demons that follow them from a past life that's attached to their subconscious mind, okay? That's attached to their subconscious. This represents the unconscious and the subconscious. This is the subconscious, your unconscious mind. It's the subconscious mind. All right, these, de these bitches have demons, okay? These witches have demons attached to them from their past life witchery. You can't escape that. Just once you make soul contracts, that's it. It's attached to your soul. Your soul, okay? Your soul forever lives on. So whatever's attached to your soul is there, including your birthright and your destiny. Your destiny is a blueprint of your soul. And what is your soul able to, you know, able to, like, do? If your soul is capable of being a reader this lifetime, it's going to be a reader because your soul recognizes that. It's going to gravitate towards you. That's your soul's purpose, your calling on a soul level, right? All your callings is on a soul level, supposedly. When you have these karmics out here lying and saying that you got their destiny, they're soulless. All right, and they're missing their soul because they sold their soul to a demon or a devil in a past life because it was less than themselves. These karmics have a, it's a million reasons why karmics incarnate on this planet, okay? It's a whole list for me. It's not just my destiny. It's, a, it's jealousy. It's a lot of things. Things that transpired when I met them in a the past life. All right, this is definitely your past life. Y'all figuring out a lot about your past life and your past life talent, okay? Some of y'all feel like you was meant to be a Gemini. <laughs> I ain't laughing at you guys. It's just how the way I said it, it made me laugh. Okay, you could be a Gemini in Taurus Cusper. Some of you guys, your your twelve house in Scorpio. It's eleven eleven right now. So yeah, we about to be tapped in. Look, Taurus. Some of you guys are Taurus in Gemini cuspers. All right, and have Scorpio in the twelfth house. Okay, you could be dating a Scorpio or a Taurus, or you could be a Scorpio. All right, and the Capricorn is here. You could be a Capricorn, or okay, this is what I'm seeing. You could be a Taurus, or you could be a Capricorn or or um Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn, and it was, um, uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio, and a Capricorn was involved, okay? And I feel like everyone was taught a spiritual lesson with the ninth house. But, yeah, I feel like somebody was in y'all energies, for real, for real. And it was like somebody was trying to take your place, take your spot. <laughs> your spot in line, okay? And your spotlight. I'm getting spotlight in line, so I, I'm guessing... It's like you right there near the finish line, and they was trying to steal it. That's why they was tapping into your second house. Look, the sun, you're the sun. You have Ra within you. You have God within you. All right? It's your immortal spirit, your immortal soul, why these bitches can't kill you, why these karmics can't take you out. Oh, snap. That was, I need my, both my evil eyes in. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Okay, but yeah, it's, it's your divine destiny and purpose. All right, that's attached to your immortal soul. It's like your divine purpose and destiny is what makes you immortal on this planet. Okay, and it's not, I'll get it, I'm getting it beyond just because you're needed here, but your soul is immortal. And that's what makes your destiny so divine, all right, and, and your purpose so divine. And your destiny and your purpose is what makes you immortal. So it's like if somebody was trying to take your take away your gift of immortality, they can't do it. They can't take it away because you you are immortal regardless on the other side. And plus you um you're you're needed here on this planet. But 
Yeah, your purpose and your destiny was involved in this spiritual beast. Like I said, this karmic tapped into your second house and it was still in riches and royalties from your destiny. All right, that is meant to come to you. It's like certain blessings that's meant to take you off in life. They were trying to steal that being combative. All right, being in competition, competitive. These could have been people who you was friends with. People who you have social, you know, uh, you know, your acquaintance with them or whatever. Everyone is receiving karma. Okay, everybody is watching you and they're receiving karma. They're receiving karma for their actions here. Okay, some of y'all could be Virgo, double Virgo. The energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, and humble with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. Okay, so you guys could be very humble. Y'all could be dating a Virgo in partnership with a Virgo, working with a Virgo. Somebody is hesitant. Like waiting on something. If your person is waiting to be with you, they're like taking their time. All right, they know you're a divine goddess here. They know that you are a goddess within, all right? Your sacred spiritual century and quiet dignity. It's like your spirituality is sacred, and it's like your person had to learn that lesson that your spirituality is sacred, your energy is sacred, all right? I mean, a sacred energy, yeah. It's like you, you take that seriously, and it's like your person had to learn a valuable lesson because maybe they was allowing other people to get in your energy here, and they wasn't thinking straight. They probably thought it was okay, but it's not, okay? Because you fight back spiritually. Okay, in the sense of your spirit guides and your higher self is going to hold you up. You don't have to do nothing in the 3D. You really don't. Y'all don't have to burn candles. Y'all don't have to do nothing, do nothing but pray and call out to the ancestors. Okay, maybe take your spiritual bath here and there, but you don't have to do much. Not like how these karmics have to. And these karmics got to do more because they tapping into evil. They're tapping into evil. Like, I don't understand what they expect. But your person knows that you're a goddess here. So maybe that's why they're willing to like work hard and make this situation right. All right. Yeah, it's like you guys could be facing yourself. Your person could be facing your, themselves in the karmic is facing themselves. It's like self-reflection energy. All right. I feel like you guys have been reflecting this, this full moon you know that we had in Scorpio it was like and one of y'all said it's not as intense and you're right it's not because we in retrograde and I feel like this retrograde is like also removing all that heavy intense karmic energy that we don't need to deal with and just sending it back to the karmic and if you you know been doing good and, and the energy is right for you you're gonna the Mercury retrograde is gonna work out for you the, this retrograde been working out for me Okay, so yeah, so I'm sure it's been working fine for you guys, but I forgot what I was saying. What people see in the impression you give, all right? Somebody judged you based off of some type of first impression, but they never really knew you in the first place. They could have just looked at a picture and judged you. They didn't even fucking know you. They never met you in, 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 in like face to face. They just looked at a picture and they judged you and they felt like, you know, it's like they, honestly, what I'm seeing is when they looked at you, they felt within themselves that they were supposed to be like you. And that's their little inner demon. Okay, because they don't know who they are. They empty inside. It's like they see your fierceness, and when they look in the mirror, they see nothing. All right, so they wanted your soul. They wanted your immortal soul. They did. All right, and it was in competition with you. Could be a Taurus. They, you could be one, right? They was in competition with you, straight up and down. Some of y'all could be in love with a Taurus. Some of you guys are taking a leap of faith here. I'm seeing, like, your person, like, ditching the karmic and telling the karmic to go on, but the karmic is, like, so in love with your person. All right? With the cosmos grant witches, wish witches, oh, my God. These witches were in your Akashic records, okay? Because I said, where the Cosmo grant. These witches was in your Akashic records, bro. 
attacking your fucking birth chart. That's why they're facing severe karma, okay? That's just simply what it is. Where the Cosmo Grant wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. So I, this is like, man, I'm getting manifested celebration because that social occasion gave me celebration. It's like you manifested victory, okay? And you're and it's playing out and like through success stability your business being successful your kids you know being successful is manifesting all that in all those ways all right i feel like friends and manifesting you keep manifesting new friends you keep manifesting a um a new soul tribe hi come here You don't want to go in the living room? Go in the living room. Y'all check out your 11th house. That's the house ruled by Aquarius. But, um, yeah, the cosmos is like, y'all granting hella wishes. Y'all know y'all can grant wish under the stars, okay? You just make a wish upon the star and it manifests. And I feel like you guys, if y'all do that, the, the wishes are coming true. You guys are definitely tapped in spiritually. You're very spiritual. You guys could be, you know, healing. I'm getting spirituality and then i saw Kara and i got healing all right so there you could be healing your spiritual health okay you could be working on your spirituality getting deeper into it like somebody could try to strip you from your spirituality and you're healing from that that's what i'm picking up you're healing from someone trying to strip you from your spirituality and your personality i'm also getting they were trying to strip you from your personality all right you're going through a transformation that's going to turn you that's going to turn you into a god i'm hearing so for any of my masculine all right y'all going through another transformation all right you're going through an awakening. This transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. This is Scorpio's house. I feel like you guys are meant to get married. You're meant to share resources with someone. All right, y'all meant to build a legacy together. Have a damn house. Okay, and I feel like, you know, whoever this person is you're meant to be with, I feel like there is healing that needs to be involved. Okay, there's healing. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. You guys... But that learning remedies is like you guys can create healing pers healing potions. All right, you may do healing spells, healing, you know, teas and stuff. It's like you know how to utilize your herbs for healing. You're a herbalist, okay? You could be like a green a green witch, okay? To so utilize like the herb, you know, earth like you you do earth magic and it makes you you consider yourself a green witch, but you a healer. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna succeed. You're going to succeed. I feel like you're going to bounce back from all these towers. You're just learning a lesson here. Okay, about people around you that's karmic. They're just karmic as hell. Your family could be karmic. People in your house could be karmic. All right? It's like you got to stop communicating to certain people because they're causing you challenges in your life with your goddess here. All right? Or with your inner goddess self. Like, they was, like, almost, like, stealing your goddess essence. So you had to cut this person off, and they could be denying it, but they got caught. All right? They got caught. It's true. They can deny it, but it's true. All right, yeah, more spiritual lessons. I'm getting this ninth house. I'm getting spiritual lessons. I don't know why, but I am. The ninth house re represents with your spirituality for sure. Let me look it up. Yeah, it's described as the house of philosophy and greater wisdom. Someone is definitely learning a learning of spiritual lesson. They learn about the spirits, how they probably can't abuse the spirits and call a demon after people and kids because the shit can fucking backfire. Okay. Okay. So broadening your horizons either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. Some of you guys are going on a long journey here. This long journey is going to be between you and some type of partnership you're meant to be with. This is like a soulmate, okay? I feel like y'all going to have a long-term relationship, and y'all going to teach each other a lot spiritually and academically. So y'all both going to be wise, all right, and spiritual. Look, Sagittarius, yeah, I feel like that's just confirmation because this is the Sagittarius house. But some of y'all could be Sagittarius, okay? That's double confirmation. It's like you're receiving double confirmation that someone is meant for you, all right? And that someone was like either trying to, you know, well, your person could be receiving double confirmation as well is what I'm getting to, all right? Because I feel like y'all be having cross watchers watching for y'all. And it does kind of throw me off a little bit. I feel like your person could be receiving double confirmation that you are a true goddess here. And that there was someone dark and evil around you guys. 
attacking y'all. All right, they could even be attacking your first house. So you will have identity issues, and that's why they have an, an identity crisis. All right, yeah, Pisces. Some of y'all could be Pisces, Pisces. This energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. Yeah, I feel like there's still a lot of illusion and confusion spells going on. All right, a lot of people look in the mirror and they just be confused. It's the karmic. Believe in yourself. All right. Pisces also represents believing in yourself. Belief, period. Believe in yourself. All right. Because you had a karmic that was draining all your energy that was stopping you from believing in yourself. Okay. This karmic is receiving karma. They don't even know what's, what's, what's going on. They really don't. All right. I'm hearing you're a Leo. All right. But you're royal here. All right. You stand in your throne. You, you have your crown. You stand tall and, and mighty here. And I feel like you're here to help others heal. Heal, okay, you're here to teach other people lessons. It's like you're here to teach the karmic lessons. I do believe that the karmic teaches lessons about ourselves when we like give too much and don't set boundaries when we allow them to teach us lessons. But I feel like overall we're here to teach the karmic lessons, especially you guys. All right, and, and it's for the karmic to expand on a soul level and so they can get out of their darkness because they they, they could have been doing evil and darkness for so long up until they met you and now they realizing like that shit ain't cool. Yeah, you could be a Scorpio. Go in the living room, baby. <laughs> this energy is intense. You have a, you have intense energy. I ain't gonna lie. Your energy is very intense overall. Masterful. You're a master of your craft. You're a master here, okay? Because you're so intense with your with anything that you do, it just makes you a master at it. Thoughtful and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. Okay, so possessive. I'm getting possession. Who were trying to steal your possessions here? All right, they could have lied and they got caught. They got caught. It's like you can tell that that person is lying. You can see it on their fucking face. Look, we have cancer. We have water and air. Who's a water and air sign? Like you have water and air placement. Okay, Pluto. Or, this is Scorpio energy too. Even though they say it's really ruled by Mars, it's not believed. But I also do feel Scorpio is ruled by Pluto as well. Okay. I'm just a fellow Scorpio. So I can say that. Mars. It's like your mother can even tell that this person is lying. Like, that's what I'm getting because cancer represents a mother. Okay, your child even knows that someone is lying. Okay. Some of y'all could be a cancer Scorpio Pisces. I saw that before. I have saw that before. <laughs> okay, wait. I don't know. Y'all let me know. And we have Jupiter. You are expanding regardless of your sign. All right, regardless of your 12th house. Whatever of the, regardless of the 12 zodiacs, you are expanding here. Your confidence, courage, and self-belief and luck here. So yes, you're taking a leap of faith. You're soaring. All right, you're very lucky here. You're very confident and courageous. Keep that confidence and good luck, you know, keep it up, basically. All right, and keep believing in yourself. Keep believing in, in what you feel emotionally and intuitively and empathically, psychically, okay, spiritually, you know, trust that, believe it, okay? You are your... I'm getting, it's like you are your own prophet, all right? You are the inner oracle that we've been discussing. You know what's best for you, all right? You know what's coming towards you. It's like you guys can predict things and see the future, right, as well. And it's like you can just see what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. You just know within you. So you need to trust that. It's like you know you have a prophecies prophecies to fulfill. You feel it in your heart. And you know that somebody around you is trying to block this shit. It's like they don't want you to believe in that stuff because they don't have a destiny. They don't have a prophecy. God didn't choose them for it because they, are karm they could be a karmic, a Jezebel, whatever. Okay, they just need to fucking let it go. It could be someone who you live with, someone in your fucking family with this fourth house, someone who you want to love. All right, they're chaotic and they're karmic with their Uranus. All right, you see all that lightning and shit is chaotic here. Towers, I'm telling you, can't. Uranus give me tower energy. Y'all hard down see that tower there. All right, that's in the lightning is there. It's a tower. This person is karmic. They're karmic, and I feel like they were sending towers towards your 10th house. All right, because your 10th house is all about your work, your business, okay, your achievements, and you're a goddess here. 
all right? You could be a Taurus and a goddess, and they was attacking all that shit, your creativities, all that, all right? Or you can be a, um, a god, all right? Because I got Venus in Mars. It's like someone is feeling you and your person's energy if they was blocking you and your person, and they feeling like y'all powerful with this Pluto, okay? It's like y'all both had a rebirth. It's like y'all got your power back. Somebody can feel it in the house that you powerful as hell, you and your person. And I feel like they could have been denying it, but it's like they can't. All right, you're definitely going through a transformation here. It's like you're transforming from a moth to a butterfly. Nothing wrong with moth. There's nothing wrong with moth. Okay, I'm just, you know, looking at it from a different way. But I feel like y'all should look up the spiritual meaning of moth. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Should leave her God, yo. <laughs> and it got me thinking, like, did it, is this person doing stuff, stuff to me as well? Like, oh, my God. I will be so hurt. I won't be that hurt. Not really. I'm used to it. But it's just like, damn, I forgot that damn fast. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot that damn fast. I was, what did I say I was going to look up? Was it a house? What house did I say I was going to look up? Or was it a sign here? We have sixth house, Libra, Aries, fourth house. I already know about the fourth house. Uranus, no. Tenth house, No. No. Was it Pluto? Oh, the moth. Oh, my gosh. The moth. <laughs> that was definitely a blockage, yo. Who is... Why is this person sending me blockages? Oh, my gosh. I thought of that person, and I instantly forgot about the moth meeting. And I'm getting oh, shamanism. Oh, my gosh. What the freak? I have shaman spirit, guys. I'm, I'm really praying and hope no one is sending their shaman guides to, like, attack me because I have shaman spirit, guys. How you think I'm able to break through hexes and curses and shit? Ancient magic. It's through my fucking spirit, guys. That's, that's fucking shaman. Please leave me alone. But moth's symbolism, symbolism and meanings include fertility, immediacy. Oh, so things are happening immediate. It's like you're going through a, an immediate transformation. All right, look, immediate seeing and transformation. I didn't even read transformation at that moment. Attachment. Okay, yeah, so you guys are also being alerted that you have some type of attachment. All right, or you had one. And it could have been a karmic family that was in disguise. All right, unconditional love. Okay, spirits, intuition, psychic abilities. Yeah, so I feel like your psychic abilities are transforming. It's like... If they were blocked, oh my god, I'm so excited for you guys. They're about to skyrocket. Oh my god, your your psychic abilities are about to skyrocket again. It's like you're going to start tapping into shit again. Okay, because you got that karmic out of your life. You got that attachment, that leech. It's like you're getting your intuition back, okay? We, we've been talking about how the karmic been cursing our cards. All right, so maybe you're able to read your cards a lot clearer now. All right, it's like you're receiving that unconditional love from the universe again. Like, I'm, I'm seeing a huge dark cloud clearing up, and I'm seeing sunny skies. And it's all because you had a karmic around you. Mad and jealous of your happiness. Okay. Listen. I don't think I'm going to read too much. All right, and it's like you're seizing the moment. Then I tell y'all, y'all gonna have a Kodak moment. All right, immediately seizing the moment is that like you're gonna start seeing how quick your manifestations come back around and how the karmics are bouncing out of your life and your blessings are coming in. And for some of you guys, there's some karmics that's trying to come back in, but spirit is saying no, 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 no. All right, nighttime in the moon. So yeah, we just had a full moon yesterday, and it's at night. So yeah, you guys had some type of magical experience during the full moon here. Okay. I'm getting magical abilities. Like you're really tapped in. Spirits. You're you 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 can channel spirits. You can talk with spirits. Somebody could have lied and told you that you can't do that, but you can. Okay? We all can and we have that that talent or that gift, of course, if God gives us the talent of um mediumship. And understand certain souls don't have certain talents and gifts like us because their soul is not ready for it. Okay, y'all have like an old man ancestor around you. All right, now I'm seeing Papa Lazarus. All right, that's Papa Legba. Oh, wow. He's funny. He just be, he be disguising himself, transforming into different. <laughs> that's how you know the comic got tricked. Because Legba is showing me how he transformed, all right, into different, like, I guess, 
entities and, and creatures and shit just to trick the karmic into thinking that the karmic was doing right. They, uh uh, no. The karmic could have thought they was tapping into Leg Bob, but he, he was tricking them. Well, they was, but he was tricking them. He, they thought that he was doing the right thing, and he wasn't. Yeah. Shadow and risk. It's like I had a shadow around you guys taking risk here. Taking risk on your pocket records and stuff. Alright, intuition. Your intuition is very strong here. Keep following your intuition. Hold on. I'm downloading a lot. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, you guys are having an epiphany that you're breaking free, and the karmic is having an epiphany that they're stuck. All right, yeah, that they're having a huge death, a huge ending here, and you're having a new life. It's like Legba lied to them. Legba tricked the karmic into thinking that they was going to have a new life, okay? And really, they're having an ending, all right? And a huge epiphany, and I'm getting a tower moment. Towers represent, represent epiphanies. I'm telling y'all, a karmic is having hella towers, all right? The karmic is realizing that you have a lot of self-control and that you really didn't do what they was accusing you of. And that Father God, the Divine Father, is still giving you a new beginning. The karmic was in fucking denial, but I'm telling you, people don't believe them. All right? And they're still watching you here, watching you and your person here. This karmic is the reason why they're watching you and your person still, because I did mention that your, pers your person was being attacked by a karmic. It's, it's because they wanted to leave you deprived. Okay? She wanted to leave you deprived here. You still gain the victory, all right? Because your psychic awareness is still up high. All right, you're still in tune here. You're still heading towards leadership, and that's the damn truth. That's what Legba is saying. This is the truth right here, that you're still heading towards leadership. The karmic got lied to by Legba. He tricked Legba, okay? I mean, oop. Legba tricked them. Maybe because the karmic was trying to trick Legba. And Legba ended up tricking the karmic, because karmics do be trying to trick the spirits. Trying to, you know, deceive the spirits and be like, oh, they will cloak themselves as you. All right, and then it, it, it's supposed to trick your ancestors into giving them your abundance. Okay, so they could have tried to do that. The song Philly is on. Somebody feels silly. Somebody feels silly about love. They feel like they, they made a fool of themselves. Yeah, they made a fool of them of themselves over being in love with you. I'm hearing they could have like was crazy in love. Yeah, they gotta stop making a fool of themselves. They wanna stop making a fool of themselves. Yeah, but um, keep connecting with your intuition. Keep following it. Keep trusting it. All right, somebody was trying to like steal all your inner child gifts here. This person was very calculated. I'm, I swear to you. All right, I swear to you. And it's like, this witch, okay, was, I guess they knew that you always get it from a child or you cherish your gifts. And it was, it's like something that you cherish. It was from a child here and it could be your gifts, okay? But I'm getting this something else that's connected with you since a child that you cherish. I don't know what it is. And they could have tried to steal that from you. If this is like an item, like tangible, they tried to steal that shit from you. What I'm also getting is that it was calculated with spell work. They was like, give me all of divine feminines and masculines in the child gifts. All right. They was telling, they were using leg bar to do that. Okay. And they were trying to trick leg bar into doing, in, into giving it, giving them the gifts. All right. Your gifts. The karmic. And Legba was tricking this person. I'm seeing you and your person receiving gifts or receiving blessings here, even if y'all ain't get it yet or whatever, okay, because you had to first get this karmic out the way. And the karmic was getting tricked by Legba, and, and he was knocking them out into illusion, okay, because this karmic was going around using Legba to cast illusion. That's why they're crazy now. Caught up in their, um, um, they're caught, they're in the 4D. Their, their crown, all right, their consciousness is in the 4D. Not their actual crown that's connected with your, you know, 
with God and stuff. I'm not talking about that crown. I'm talking about their actual crown chakra is caught up in the 4D right now. They are lost, all right? And when you're when you in the 4D, you are in limbo. That is the Seven of Cups. You are in limbo. I look at the Seven of Cups as the fourth dimension, and it could also be you able to tap into the seventh dimension, okay? But I mainly get four dimensions. It just depends on the energy that I'm reading. All right, yeah, the karmic is facing judgment. The karmic is facing judgment here. Oh, my God. Huge, heavy judgment. All right, and I feel like your higher self is kicking ass. All right, your higher self is kicking ass. And I'm getting, if your person did something to hurt you, your person knew they took a risk, and they did it anyway. They knew they was taking a risk messing with you. All right, but they thought it would work in their favor, or they should try, and they would, you know, have good energy from it, but it turned out to be whack. All right. You, your person in the karmic need to focus on their priorities right now. I feel like your person is working on strengthen, strengthening their intuition, all right? And, again, you guys are making it um, a priority to strengthen your intuition here, all right? You, again, you guys are meant to be master teachers. You guys could be focused on becoming a master teacher, all right, and utilizing your intuition to download knowledge and wisdom, all right? The karmic has no gift. They're on survival mode right now, I'm telling you. They are on survival mode. Okay, yeah, because they was in competition with you. It's like they 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 lost all their gifts. Legba stole all their gifts. I'm not gonna say lost. Legba stole it because they was writing petitions for your gifts to be stolen. So now all their gifts are stolen and they were given back to God. All right, that's why they have an ego death. God gave them an ego death. They don't have nothing. They feel God's energy with that life force. They're feeling God's energy, and they feel like they've done a bad thing. They feel like a bad star seed, a bad child. They don't feel highly favored or blessed. They don't feel anointed. They don't feel any of those things, okay? They don't feel none of those things here. They really thought that they were going to take you down. Like, that was imaginary. That was a whole illusion that they conjured up in their mind. Even about you being in competition with them, that was a whole illusion that they conjured up in their mind, all right? Thinking that, you know, if they say you doing it, then, it's an, it, then it gives them a leeway to do it. Like, they're childish. And this is not a race. You guys are not here you know, racing against the karmic when it comes down to your soul's purpose and your destiny because it's like this karmic is obsessed with destiny or something. They were, they were definitely obsessed with yours, and they could be denying it, but it's fact because they always talk about it, okay? But it's like you're not in a race because your destiny is yours. You're walking it. A lot of you guys, this karmic didn't know shit about destiny up until they met you or until they found out about yours. Now, all of a sudden, they, they want a destiny like you, and they're trying to steal yours with Papa Legba. That's why he be tricking them, transforming into to, into stuff. Tricking them. All right, yeah, I told you they lost their gifts. All right, well, Scott is stolen. It's lost, okay? It's lost because it was stolen. All right, they are deprived of everything. They are feeling blue. They are feeling blue, sad. Yeah, because they was in competition with you, and they shadow in competition with what you're inventing as far as your business go. Okay, period, point blank, and they're facing karma by, from Papa Legba. All right, and by God, okay, because it was abusing God's power, abusing Legba's power, okay, and then trying to utilize Legba and God's power to take you down. They're fucking crazy. Okay. But um hold on y'all, let me change her pamper. Pam here. How long we been on? Fifty five minutes. Gotta edit. Yeah, but this karma does is like they don't want to admit that they was in their shadow, but they were. They was in their ego. Alright, they was in their low vibrational ego. They was in their ego, they was not in their higher self. How the way they was going about it, they wasn't in their higher self and, and if they claim they was, they was they intuition was very much wrong. Okay, look, now they're trying to compromise because they don't want to face judgment. They don't want to face karma. Now they're trying to compromise with everyone, you know, who they betrayed. But everybody is focusing on themselves. People around them is even telling them, man, focus on yourself. Focus on your child. Maybe focus on your own intuition. Like, just leave me alone. All right? Like, focus on yourself. 
type shit. Like, give me, like, give me some rest. It's like y'all telling the karmas, man, give me some, some rest. Like, I don't have time for this anymore. I'm done. Okay, yeah, because it's like, if people was, like, working for the karmic or teaming up with the karmic, people around them are saying, like, they took enough risk, you know, for them. They're taking a rest now, okay? They need to fucking stop being jealous of other people's celebration because it's like this karmic is exposed for that. They're having an ego death, and it's up to them to accept that. They can either stay low vibrational or ascend and change. Okay? The karmic could be mad, but they got exposed. All right, yeah, look, they feel your life force. They feel that you're a powerful divine god or goddess, and they can't fuck with you. You're bigger than them spiritually, all right, on a soul level. And, they, and they're they hunted by demons. They're hunted by demons. It's like they're not even on your fucking level because they're hunted by demons, the fuck? And because they, they're using demons to steal people's energy, all right? And, but your demons is powerful than theirs, all right? And you're on point with your psychic awareness. You know what you be talking about. You know what you be picking up. All right, these karmics were just bored with their life, okay? They was bored with their life. They was bored with, with their manifestation. But this imagination, I'm getting the 4D manifestation, they was bored with that. It's like they wasn't, like, it, it wasn't enough what they was receiving. Now God is putting them in solitude. They want to be like you. They want to have your destiny. Well, they're going to have to fucking learn the same lessons that you had to to get to where you are. Period, point blank. They're going to have to learn those same lessons. All right, and you're in solitude right now focusing on yourself. All right, focusing on you being a psychic, okay? A lot of you guys are psychics. You have psychic businesses, okay? Or your spiritual businesses. You're just focusing on that. And you're focusing on listening to what your intuition say about certain people. It's okay. It's like the karmic did hella spell work so you can, like, not trust your intuition. And it just made you trust it even more. And then doing spell work, using leg bar to confuse your intuition and using leg bar to steal it. And he confused them, dumbed that person down, and took that person's gifts. And they don't have shit now. And took whatever else they, they fucking have all right they, they should have appreciated you if this is your family they should have appreciated you and not take advantage of you and your energy and your intellect now they're facing karma you watching them face karma and i'm getting you don't care nobody cares anymore all right you do dirt you get dirt and i'm getting if other people was in, involved they affected everyone okay they affected everybody with their spell work they could have been doing spell work on everyone so everyone can side on could side them and believe them using proper leg bar to do it okay and it's a price to pay so he could have worked in in in, in the, the karmic favor in some things all right maybe so you can see people who, who they who they truly are certain snakes that was around you that was low-key dealing with the karmic but other than that you know he ended up confusing the karmic in the end and no one trusts the karmic so it's like tooth for tooth arm for arm right you got what you wanted in return you got the opposite end of the stick, okay? It's like, and I'm getting the scales. I'm getting the scales. It's like, okay, you, you got what you wanted. Now, for those scales to balance out, something bad has to happen to you in that way so it can balance because it wasn't righteous. It was not righteous. That's why the spirits always say, deal with me with integrity and with morals. Because if you're telling me to do something that's stupid, all right, you're going to have to balance out the scales and go through that exact same karma that you try to send somebody else for something stupid. All right? And hopefully that will teach you a lesson so you won't do something stupid like that again. All right? People in the community is coming after this karmic ass. All right? Because they all feel discontent energy from this karmic. And it's like they all feel in, whoever was involved, they all feel in karma and judgment. All right? From the karmic because of what they did to you. Okay? Let me let me explain better. 